Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So happy Wednesday. A lot of people have been hitting me up to talk about this whole Lori Beth Denberg situation. So if you guys don't know, um, over the past few months, we've covered everything that was going on with Dan, everything that was going on with Dan Schneider. Um, he was facing a bunch of allegations of abuse and talking down to people and basically overall bad behavior on set. So much so that um, it ended up being an A&E documentary called Quiet on Set that went viral and everyone was talking about it. So a lot of people around that time, you know, kind of wanted to know if Lori Beth had anything to say concerning the documentary or Dan Schneider, because as we all know, she was the oldest on All That. She was part of the original All That cast. She was best known for her role in this sketch in this sketch comedy skit that was called Vital Information. And she would do news-like statements and just go off and yell. And now, Lori Beth Denberg with more Vital Information for your everyday life. If it's the 4th of July and Santa comes down your chimney, run like the wind, that ain't Santa! <laughs> this is no way to treat the world. <laughs> you can hug your mother. You can ride a bike. But you cannot teach a chicken pot pie to speak Spanish. Um, then she got too old for all that, so she ended up leaving all that. And then we all remember her from the Steve Harvey show. She was also in the movie Good Burger as well. So she has done quite a bit over the years, but as of late, she's been kind of, you know, obscure and, you know, just doing her own thing. Well, yesterday she decided to drop a bombshell that had social media shooketh, okay? So she says that basically Dan Schneider preyed on her. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys everything that Lori Beth had to say about the situation. Actor Lori Beth Denberg, who starred in Nick's, who starred in the hit Nickelodeon show All That from the mid from the mid to late 90s, has accused Dan Schneider of showing her pornography when she was just a teenager. In an interview with Business Insider on Tuesday. Lori Beth said that in 1995, shortly after the first season of All That Wrapped, Schneider invited her into the office to discuss having heard that a female producer had spoken to her about her weight gain. During this meeting, Lori Beth said that Schneider started showing her clips of pornography. I feel like that was the first time he prayed on me, she said. She told Business Insider that during her four years on the set between the years of 1994 and 1998, Schneider, who worked with Nickelodeon on the show who worked with Nickelodeon on shows until 2018, put her in countless uncomfortable situations. The former executive producer lashed out at her on set, played porn for her on multiple occasions, and once initiated phone sex. Lori Beth also said that Schneider, that Schneider also played a video of a woman performing oral sex on a donkey as a grand finale. What in the hee-haw is going on here? That is disgusting. So not only are you showing this young woman porn, you're also introducing her to bestiality. Now, how demonic is that? Lori Beth details different instances where Schneider made her very uncomfortable when she was young. Around the 2000s, Lori Beth told Albie Hatchett, Schneider was ultimately ousted from Nickelodeon in 2018 after an internal investigation found that he could be verbally abusive. But Denberg said that Nickelodeon execs' failure to act more quickly forced actors and crew members to endorse years of abuse and mistreatment at the hands of Schneider. Nobody thinks it's their responsibility to protect people working at Nickelodeon, Lori Beth said. Instead, the higher ups acts as if the employees should thank them for the privilege, and it's just absolutely disgusting. Denberg was a 17-year-old high school senior when she was cast in the show All That in 1994. She was ecstatic to book her first professional acting gig. Denberg moved to Orlando alone to film the first season. And off camera, she socialized with the crew and the writers, including Schneider. Denberg felt more mature than her young co-stars and thought Schneider was someone she could learn from, maybe even serve as a mentor. Lori Beth said her relationship with Snyder 
turned sexual when she was around the age of 19. It started with frequent phone calls that would regularly discuss sexual topics. And once Schneider initiated phone sex when all that filming moved from Orlando to Los Angeles in 1996. Lori Beth says she began spending the night at Schneider's home, sometimes sleeping over. While they were not sexually intimate during these sleepovers, Lori Beth said that they would give each other massages and that Schneider frequently played porn on his computer. Farrah Alvin, a high school friend of Denberg, told the B.I. that Denberg told her about the phone sex and the porn, as well as Schneider's request for massages at the time. Once Denberg said Schneider asked her to accompany him to visit an auto repairman. According to Denberg, Schneider had a gun on him. When a police officer pulled over Schneider because of, because of an issue with his car's tags, Schneider pushed the gun to Denberg. She said she hid the gun under her skirt as Schneider chatted with officers who recognized him from his role on the sitcom Head of the Class. Schneider, she said, then asked the officer if he had any children who watched Nickelodeon and might recognize Denberg. Denberg said her relationship with Schneider developed into a weird, abusive friendship. One night when Denberg was around 20 or 21, she said things became physical. Denberg said that they were watching Jeopardy at Schneider's home and made a bet on who could get the most answers correct. The winner would get a massage. But when Denberg won, she said Schneider also fondled her and put his mouth on her breast. At the time, Denberg did not necessarily see these interactions as inappropriate, telling herself she's older than the age of 18, and it was only in recent years that she started grappling with the power imbalance in, in these sexual encounters. She felt that if she refused Schneider, there was a possibility he would stop writing sketches for her or humiliate her on set. I couldn't have been more green, Lori Beth said. I couldn't have been more vulnerable. Lori Beth said Schneider's outburst became a problem on set. Once at dinner with writers and crew members, Lori Beth recalls Schneider asking the group unprompted whether they ever noticed that Lori Beth's breasts were different sizes. Lori Beth, who was 18 or 19 at the time, said she responded by throwing a bread roll at Schneider, hoping to defuse the situation. She said he screamed at her, yelling that his right eye was hanging on by a thread before storming out of the restaurant. It was one of those turns that was just really upsetting and scary, she said. Everyone else seemed to completely blow it off. As all that progressed, Denberg said Schneider lashed out even more frequently on set. If Denberg pushed back against Schneider, she said it became more and more of, I'm going to make your life miserable. I'm going to treat you as badly as I can. Schneider's digs became subtle. Someone who worked on all that told Business Insider that Schneider would become vindictive towards Lloyd Beth sometimes adjusting scripts to humiliate her. This person and three others who worked with Schneider requested anonymity in order to speak freely without fear of personal repercussions. Their identities are known to B.I. Once when Robbins wasn't on set, Schneider made Lori Beth wait more than an hour on a chilly soundstage, freezing and soaking wet to film a sketch as a sweaty woman. Denberg starred in another in another reoccurring segment called Vital Information. According to Lori Beth, Schneider would refuse to write her jokes for the segment until the last minute, forcing her to perform live without rehearsing. Denberg said it felt like a power play to purposely upset her. Other times, Schneider exploded. Lori Beth said working with Schneider carried the threat that this big man might turn around and yell at you and attack you out of nowhere. Once Schneider wanted Lori Beth to adjust how she sung a song in a scene. And when she told him to talk to Robbins, the episode's director, she said Schneider snapped and said he would tell her anything I fucking want. Angelique Bates, who starred in the first two seasons of All That when she was 13, told Business Insider in 2022 that Schneider once screamed at her after a sketch went off the rails. Bates said that the incident was so intense that she ran away in tears. A person close to Schneider responded to B.I. in 2022's investigation, stating that Schneider never screamed at anyone, but Bates may have been upset by his direction. You get sucked in with the fun, Lori Beth said. The joy of working on a comedy show together makes those turns that much more impactful, hurting, and devastating. When Lori Beth left all that in 1998, 
its fourth season, she never wanted to see Schneider again. But roughly a year later, Bynes asked Denberg to visit the set of her new series, The Amanda Show. Denberg couldn't refuse. I decided that I loved her more than I hated Dan. Lori Beth had long been worried about how Schneider was treating Bynes, who was 10 years old when she joined All That on season three. On Bynes' first day of filming, Lori Beth recalled Schneider adjusting her script last minute, upsetting the young actor. Lori Beth said that she cheered up Bynes, then told Schneider that he couldn't change the little girl's lines on the spot. She recalled him responding, I can do whatever I want. When Lori Beth visited the Amanda show set, the 13-year-old Bynes looked gone. While Lori Beth didn't interact with Schneider directly, she said she overheard him say that the show had to stop filming recently because Bynes was tired. Lori Beth's friend Alvin recalled her saying that after the visit that Amanda, that Amanda Bynes was not okay. Given her negative experience with Schneider, she decided to speak to Schneider's boss, Brian Robbins, and the executive producer and co-creator of All That. Robbins Company, Toll and Robbins Production, also produced The Amanda Show and served as Bynes' talent manager. In the meeting, Lori Beth told Robbins that she had once thought Schneider could be a mentor to her, and she burst into tears and explained that she was worried about Bynes. She said Robbins did not ask any follow-up questions, but told her Schneider hasn't had it easy either. Even before the meeting, Lori Beth did not trust Robbins. He and Schneider were longtime friends, having starred together in the 1980s hit Head of the Class. People who worked with Nickelodeon in the 90s said Robbins knew about Schneider's temper and witnessed Schneider's on-set messages from the crew and extras firsthand. Lori Beth left Robbins' office determined to find someone who would listen to her concerns. She said she made an appointment at Nickelodeon's New York headquarters in the 2000s meeting. She recalled telling Abby, Albie Hatch, the president of Nickelodeon Entertainment, that Bynes was in trouble. She said Schneider was a problem and didn't care about anything except herself. She said, and she did not discuss her sexualized encounters with Schneider, with either Hatchet or Robbins. Hatchet listened politely. According to Denberg, he later called her to say Nickelodeon had rearranged Amanda's shooting schedules in an effort to make things less taxing on the actor. When Lori Beth was back in Los Angeles, a friend who worked on the Amanda show called her to tell her that her photo had been hung in the guard shack, banning her from the set. Wow. Lori Beth says someone who worked on the show confirmed to B.I. that Denver's photo had been posted and it was common knowledge that she was barred for expressing her concerns about Schneider. Lori Beth was hit with a wave of disgust and defeat and sadness. I felt like I tried to help her, to help Amanda, and I couldn't, she said. It infuriates Lori Beth that Schneider spent years thriving at Nickelodeon after she spoke to executives Hatch went on to produce hits like SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and in, 20, and in 2003, he launched Spike TV. Robbins built a career as a director and a producer before returning to Nickelodeon as president in 2018. A few months after Schneider's departure in late April, Robbins was one of the executives promoted to lead all the Paramount Global as a co-CEO. While Bynes did not respond to requests for comment, the actor has publicly struggled with her mental health. Bynes was released from her, from her conservatorship in 2022 and placed on a psychiatric hold twice in 2023. Lori Beth says she hopes that by finally talking about Schneider, others will feel safe to do so as well. The 48-year-old who still acts knows it could ruin her future chances of working in television, but she is willing to take that risk. She wants Nick Lodian to take responsibility, and she wants people to know what Schneider did. There's right and there's wrong and there's true and there's false. So that is what she had to say about um, Dan Schneider. So of course, Dan Schneider has clapped back with his own response. And this is what he's saying. So he's saying, Lori Beth's accusations of me are wildly exaggerated and in most case false. As I have previously stated, there were times, particularly in the early years of my career, that I made mistakes and exhibited poor judgment as a leader. If I did that with respect to Lori Beth, I sincerely apologize to her, but I cannot apologize for things I did not do. Then he goes on to say, the, the fact that an executive producer of Quiet on the Set will pursue allegations regarding what may have happened between adults nearly 30 years ago 
Only a week after I filed a defamation lawsuit accusing quite of the quite onset of being intentionally false and misleading seems more than coincidental. So that is his response. So this entire situation is insane. But I believe Lori Beth. Lori Beth has never been embroiled in any type of controversy. You've never heard her out there. You've never heard anything bad about her. So I don't think that Lori Beth is lying in this situation. You know, like I always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And it's very interesting that everybody has the same stories about Dan Schneider. So something ain't cleaning the buttermilk. So with that being said, I would love to hear from you guys. I want to know y'all's opinion on this entire situation concerning Lori Beth Denberg basically now speaking out about her interactions with Dan Schneider. Do you believe what she has to say? Do you feel like she's just looking for clout? Um, I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Feel free to share this video. Make sure you guys like the video. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.